hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as main animation like always, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color and simply hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now I'm going to select my text tool over here and we are going to type our text, I'm going to choose Oswell font but you can choose any font you want, I'm going to type Newton like this now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now let's select this text over here and we are going to select this rectangle tool and now we are going to create one mask around o like this then select this hit ctrl d press m and let's unlink this mask and over here we are going to delete this n over here then select this and let's move this over here and let's delete this mask we don't need that we will adjust this properly like this and we will uh, select this layer and we will select rectangle and again we will create mask on this o and choose alpha inverted mask okay so now over here if you see we have this two layers one with o so hit enter and let's call it as o and another one is u turn like this now let's uh, do one thing i'm going to select my rectangle tool over here uh, and let's choose red color for this fill and we are going to create one rectangle like this press ctrl alt home uh, select this hit ctrl d and let's move this over here like this then select this hit ctrl d go to the search option and type path go to the rectangle path select this right click and choose convert to bezier path go to the path and create one keyframe like this okay now select this let's uh, go to around uh, 20 frames over here and we are going to select my selection tool create another keyframe let's select this uh, and let's move this from here over here first we need to touch it over here then go few frame forward select this and let's move this over here then go to the 10 frames select this and let's move this over here okay let's try to adjust it sorry select this let's try to adjust it properly now select those and by holding alt i'm going to move this over here and move this over here now select those keyframes and hit f9 then go to the graph editor let's select this by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this let's uh, select this let's move this handle over here and this handle over here this one over here select this and move this one over here see with this move this one over here okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation okay so this is for n so let's select all of this and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as n over here and we will move this over here just for now like this okay now select this Go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect to apply and we will choose this black color. Now go inside this and over here we need to do small animation for this too. So press P for position create one keyframe or uh, instead of that let's do one thing. We will go to the windows. I am going to choose animation composer anchor point mover 
and with the help of this i can bring down this anchor point downward then press s unlink this and create one keyframe let's hide this one for now then go to around uh, one second over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this value zero select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here select this move one handle over here and move one handle over here like that then uh, go to around 10 frames i'm going to select this frame and let's move this over here like this and then go somewhere around at this point i'm going to enable this layer and with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here like this so if i see this now i'll get this kind of stuff hit you and let's go to the last keyframe which is over here then go to the main animation over here select this press p for position create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe go to the start and let's move this from here like this select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this okay then i'm going to select my rectangle tool and then uh, let's create this kind of rectangle and press ctrl alt home then select this hit enter and let's call it as mask and let's make it apparent with this n over here and select this text over here bring this at the top press f4 and choose alpha mask and also i'm going to select this and make it apparent with this n okay so we will get something like this now select this text press p for position create one keyframe go over here create another keyframe go to the start and we will simply bring this out of this and again select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph select this by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here like this and then select this o and let's move this over here press p create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe and in middle of that let's move this over here let's go to the start and let's make this fit and let's move this over here now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here now select this move this handle over here select this move this handle over here select move this over here select this move this over here okay let's move this press f4 select all of them enable the motion blur go inside this also enable their motion blur okay select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as text select this hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position let's bring this downwards now select this uh, go select your rectangle tool and we are going to create this kind of mask go to the mask uh, and let's increase the mask feathers to 50 or let's say 100 and then press t and let's make this 40 okay so if you see we will get this kind of text animation then press ctrl y to create one solid background like this and hit n so yep this is how you will get this kind of text animation inside of after effects like this